Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be creating a second drum how-to video and the topic of today's video is going to be creating grooves using the piano roll function. Um, so I've had a lot of friends and musicians ask me over the years what the best way to create grooves is. Um, you can use MIDI that you either download or pay for. Um, you can use a physical MIDI keyboard to um, play grooves, which I think could be a little tough. It takes a little getting used to with coordination. Personally, I think the best results are when you use the piano roll because you have full uh, capability to program whatever kind of groove you want. So first, um, I've got the same preset kit that I used in a previous video loaded up already. And I just want to talk briefly about um, some of the things down here, which um, even though you're not, even if you may not use Logic, it's similar in other DAWs. So first you have the actual tempo which you can obviously adjust up or down to your liking. To the right of that, you have the time signature, which you can adjust you know, the numerator or denominator. And then last down here, you have the actual division. So right now it's set to uh, 16th notes, but you can change that if you wanted to do, say, triplets, you would just change it to 24, or if you had something more complicated, you can obviously do that as well. So I'm gonna open up a blank piano roll. So as you can see here from one to two is obviously just gonna be one measure of four four time. And from one to 1.2 is one quarter note, and 1.2 to 1.3 is another, etc. So if you took half of that, which is these two gray squares, that would be an eighth note. And finally, each individual um, one of these is going to be a 16th note. So just so you understand the basic mechanics of how this grid works. And then along the left side here, you have all of the individual notes of the MIDI keyboard, which in the previous video I talked about how you would map drum hits onto these individual notes. So I'm going to start with a really basic groove and kind of show you how you can start from something basic and make it a little bit more human. So I'm going to just put a couple hits on here. Okay, so just basic snare kick, snare kick, and this is what it sounds like. So obviously super boring, there's not a lot to it, so let's fill in some of the other notes. So how about we put a crash on the first hit, and then on the downbeats I'm going to put a closed hi-hat sound. Okay, so now this is what it sounds like. There you have just a basic kind of standard rock 4-4 groove, but it still is a little bit robotic, doesn't really have a lot of variation. So what I try and do at this stage is go in and vary some of the dynamics. So first thing I'm going to do is with the hi-hats, um, as a real drummer would, you know, go in and kind of vary an accent probably every other note on a groove like this so I'm gonna take the two and four and I'm gonna put a hot a, um, a harder hit on those notes and then on the one and three I'm gonna use a little softer hit make it a little random to give it more of that kind of realistic feel so this is what that sounds like So again, it's slowly starting to take shape. Um, what I want to do next is, however, kind of go in with the kick and snare. So let's use the snare hits. Let's make, you know, make one a little softer, harder hit. And here's what that sounds like. All right, slowly getting there. Now let's kind of do the same with the kick. I'm actually going to go in and add a couple extra kick notes, some 16th notes. And here's what this sounds like. So we've got a little bit more of a variation in the groove here, starting to shape up in a little bit more realistic fashion. You can even go and add in some extra hi-hat hits if you want. Say you want to kind of move one of the uh, snare hits so it's not exactly on the beat. You can put another crash hit at the end. 
is what this sounds like. So again, you know, these are just some ideas. Obviously, this group doesn't really make a lot of sense, but the point is, I like the piano roll because it's very visual. So if you kind of get the fact that, you know, up here you have your hi-hats on this row, and on C2, for example, you know, you've got your crashes. On C1, you've got your um, kick, and then you have your snare. You can kind of visually see the groove as it's playing, which is one thing that I like. So let's say you've got an idea in your head for a drum beat. You can just use some basic trial and error and, you know, keep playing it and just experimenting until you kind of get close or exactly to what you want. So that's why, you know, I think this is a really powerful tool for all musicians. So anyway, I hope this concept is helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, please feel free to ask and I'll see you next time.